You know, people always ask me, they be like, Nana, do you ever get nervous when you get on stage? I thought about it. Not as nervous as I get when I'm late on my period. <laughs> That's some scary shit, right, ladies? I freak out. I do what most girls do. I call my best friend. I'm like, yeah. See, she already answered. She knows. <laughs> I didn't even know that bitch was here. <laughs> but I call my best friend. I'm like, Brr. I'm like, bitch, I fucked up. I'm late. She's like, you need money for rent? I'm like, no, my period. <laughs> and then I hear a long pause on the other line. I hear her go. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, ain't you gay? On the other line, like, did you write is this new weed I'm smoking? I forgot. <laughs> That's some scary stuff, y'all. Woo! I know the weed smokers know that. You ever like smoke some good weed? You forget things. Like you forget where the remote's at, and it's usually in your hand, right? Oh, you forget where your shades are at or your glasses, and you're like, where are my glasses at? And they're on your face. Yeah, he high right now. He know it. Yeah. Yeah. That's scary, right? Well, lately, I be getting so high, I forget I'm gay. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I'm pushing 40 next year, OK? And these younger gay bitches have outgayed me, OK? Like. I thought dressing like a 90s gym teacher was gay enough. No, it's not, no. Like, I went on a date with this girl. She was 29 years old. She had like 21 questions. She's like, Nana, what do you identify as? Bisexual, pansexual, asexual. I looked at her. I'm like, bitch, you're lucky I passed 10th grade English. <laughs> Like, I don't even feel gay enough around gay people. Like, I'm like, what is going on? Like, this is weird, right? Like, who do I identify as? A question mark? Like, am I still trying to figure this shit out? This is some scary shit, yo. This is some scary shit. But you know, I did, you know, I do come from a big Mexican Catholic family, all right? Super Catholic, all strong, powerful, Latina, independent women in my family. And when I say independent and strong, I mean hoes. <laughs> my grandma was a hoe. My auntie was a hoe. All my cousins are hoes. But here's the thing. Do you know how hard it is to hide your gayness from your hoe-ass cousins? <laughs> like, the moment they thought was gay. I was like, oh shit, let me get 10 shots of Patron, bitch. I'm gonna learn how to walk in these heels real quick. <laughs> this is not salsa merengue, bitch. This is how I walk in heels. Stop. <laughs> like, it came close, pretty close to a couple blowjobs, but I was like, nope, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're not gonna do that. But you know, I always went on these double dates with them and I always got mad because I always got stuck with the ugly guy, right? Like, you know, you had that one friend that always went on dates, you got stuck with the ugly guy or girl, you're like, why well, I gotta get this special ed person? <laughs> but here's the thing though, here's the thing. I always ask my aunt, like, why do I gotta go on these double dates? And my aunt would be like, Nana, it's because you're into sports. That's like a nice way of saying we know you gay, but we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> right, that's my stop. But I'm single, you know, and I do what most people do when they're readily single, right? When you just get out of a relationship, what do you do? Join the gym for like three months and that's it, right? You're like, I'm gonna prove a point. I'm gonna lose this weight. Doesn't work, doesn't work. So I started running in the woods. 
And every time I run in the woods, I always go in my little joint, and I always see this elderly, old, white couple, right, holding hands. You ever see a couple and you're like, damn, that's what love looks like? Two old white people in the woods holding hands? <laughs> and so I, I'm like, you know what? I want to know their story. So I went up to them. I went up to them. I'm like, hi, excuse me, sir, can I ask you a question? He goes, yeah. I'm like, how long you guys been together? He goes, 40 years. I'm like, damn, I can't even make it past one month. Now I want to know how they did it, right? Because that's the next thing you want to know. Like, how did they make it last, right? So I asked him, like, how'd you do it? He goes, two things. He goes, one, we don't live together. I'm like, all right, that's cool, right? <laughs> that's what he's on. I got it, okay. And then his partner, his woman, he goes, she goes, the most important one, sweetie, we're married to other people. <laughs> Yeah. I know there's some married people in the house, and here's the thing, here's the thing about wedding. I like weddings, all right? Don't get discouraged. There's still hope for y'all, but uh, I like save the dates. You guys know what those are? They're like those little reminders, like, don't forget about our wedding. We're like, no, dumb bitch, stop talking about it. You're going to get a divorce in five years. We all know. We all know. <laughs> but I love save the dates, and the other day I was looking at my fridge. I had three magnets up there, and I'm like looking at them. They're looking at me. And then I'm like, damn, ain't this a bitch? They're not even together no more, right? <laughs> and then my cousin comes by, and every time she comes by, she gets mad. She goes, nah, nah, why you still got those up there? I look at her, I look at the magnets, I look back at her, I'm like, bitch, it ain't my fault all three of your marriages didn't work. <laughs> Some whole shit, but um, like I, like I said, I am turning 40 next year, and the older I get, the more I like to think about how I'm gonna die, cause I'm a realist, okay? Like I like to know how I'm gonna go out. Not, I'm not taking myself out. That's suicide. I wouldn't do that, right? So I look at my family history. What runs in it? Diabetes, lupus, high blood pressure, Alzheimer's, dementia. I don't know if I can do that one. You know? Do you guys know what that is? That's where you forget things. Because that runs in my family. When I was eight years old, my grandma would look at me, and in Spanish, she would go, Eres tu, Felix? In English, that translates to, Is that you, Felix? <laughs> she fucking knew I was gay before I knew I was gay. <laughs> hey, guys, that's my time. My name is Donna Rodriguez. <laughs>